Tonight we continue our look into propositions one, two, and three, and who's trying to buy your vote with a closer examination of the legality of the Secretary of State's attempt to force one group to reveal its donors. Matt King has more in this red, white, and blue report. Yeah, everyone, more than 10% of the total lobbying dollars spent on these propositions came from one group and came anonymously. Our Secretary of State, Mr. Usursa, has been apolitical and dispassionate about making these judgments, and he's certainly doing that here. Idaho's Secretary of State wants to know from whom the lobbying group Education Voters of Idaho received $200,000. That organization filed with the IRS as a private nonprofit corporation. IRS laws say such a group may fundraise and keep secret its donors. But at least one attorney, and former Idaho Attorney General, thinks state disclosure requirements for committees called Sunshine Laws take precedent. Education Voters of Idaho still qualifies as a committee attempting to influence the outcome of a state election. In the instance of a $200,000 donation, if disclosure is not required here, essentially you wouldn't have a law any longer. At this point, the state's not yet involved the courts. The Secretary of State does have the first call on making the application of law in this instance. If a judge forced the disclosure of donors, the lobbying group could allege that ruling somehow violated a federal constitution right, like freedom of speech, and bring action in a federal court. Even then, Leroy thought a judge would hear the case on an emergency expedited basis to reach a decision well before Election Day. The Secretary of State did not return my calls yesterday or today. EVI chose not to comment. Love the studio, Matt King, Fox 9 on your side. A family